also YouTube. I'm back in with another video. Make sure y'all boys like, comment, subscribe. Boys and girls, my bad. Make sure y'all boys and girls like, comment, subscribe, and share the channel. Like, subscribe to the channel. We had 153 subscribers. Subscribe to the channel. Like, it don't hurt that much to subscribe. Make sure y'all follow me on my social media. Instagram, like, scan, score, t low, TikTok, and score, t low, and unlike it. Like, do that for me, please. <clears throat> Clear my throat, clear my throat. Let's get to it. All right. So in today's video, what we're gonna do? Y'all see LeBron James, like young LeBron James, on the uh, Cleveland Cavaliers and Shaq, but he's a 98 overall. Y'all wondering why is Shaq on here in 98 overall with the rookie LeBron James? So we're gonna see what if LeBron played with prime Shaq in the 2009-2010 season? What if Shaq was in his prime and he played with LeBron? How well could these two would have been if they if Shaq was in his prime back then in 20? In the 20 uh 2009 2010 season we're gonna see end up adding a 98 overall check with 99 over lebron james this is a 2009 to 2010 season we'll see how well this duo can uh play with each other well some in the first half of this season y'all know the ritual and i catch y'all then so during the first half season of this look this looking like this unstoppable duo the duo of uh lebron or young lebron and the prime shack is looking unstoppable right now 55 wins and only six losses. Let's let's see them stats. They looking like is is this duo better than uh Kobe and Shaq? Ooh, I don't know. But LeBron averaging a triple double with 31 points. Shaq is averaging 26 and 15. Go ahead and eat, big fella. And you know we doing good in that Easter Conference. We looking real good. Let's see these award races. LeBron going for MVP. So is Shaq. Okay. I think that's about it. What about defensive? LeBron going for that? That's about it. So, we're going to end up simming to the end of the season. You know we're making it to the playoffs. You know we're going to win it all with this duo. Like, this duo looking real unstoppable. This duo looking better than Kobe and Shaq. Can we win it all, though? That's the question. i catch you on the playoffs. Even with LeBron playing at his best at a young age, 99 overall, dropping a triple-double, Luka ended up still winning, winning MVP. I don't know why Luka is in here. It's, even though it's supposed to be the 2009-2010 season. Yeah, I didn't make the roster, but luckily we just had LeBron and Shaq. Anyway, the duo of LeBron and Shaq, Shaq and his prime with LeBron James in 2009-2010 season, they end up going 71-11. and 11. And LeBron ended up winning the defensive player of the year. He averaged 30 points, 10 rebounds, 11, well, 12 assists, almost three or well, three steals, showing 60% 60, 60 from the field, 43% uh, from the three-point line. Looking good. And we had got our coach, uh, Coach Adir. LeBron ended up being all NBA first team. What about Shaq? Shaq? Wait, Shaq not on here? Shaq ended up making all NBA third team. Let's see what he finished with. He finished with 26 points and 15 rebounds with two blocks, shooting 64, 60, 65% from the field. Now it's playoffs time. That's where everybody came to see. Going against the Washington Wizards. Pretty sure they don't have nobody. So we should be good, like easy sweep, right? Oh, it's looking, it's looking scary. Why is present? Oh my god, bro! Oh, thank God we ain't no winner, cause. Oh my god, LeBron ended up having 34, 12, and 13 in game six. Shaq ended up having 22 and six. Wow, I mean that's not bad, but it's not that good either. We only won by six points. Going against the Toronto Raptors, pretty sure. We should win. Like, it's LeBron. LeBron going against them easy. It's plus with Shaq. So, LeBron ended up having 32, 10, 13 with five blocks. Shaq ended up having 17 and 14. Who's, An who, who's Antoine Jameson? Am I missing out? Anyway, going against the Boston Celtics in the uh, Eastern Conference Finals. We end up going up to LeBron had 38, 99. We haven't seen Shaq go off yet. Don't tell me we're going to lose. Let's go to Simcast. All right. They got home court advantage, but we wiping the floor with them. Like, we finna win. Yeah, we won, right? Nope. Oh, yeah, we won. We won. We won. We, we only know winning by three. LeBron up Canada scoring low with 25 points, six and nine. Two steals, two blocks with seven turnovers. LeBron turning it down a little bit. Shot in the giving us 19 points, 13 rebounds. Now we're going to get the Los Angeles Lakers. Who they got? They got okay. Now this team is the 2009-2010 season. I mean 2009-2010 team right here. So Shaq going against his former teammate Kobe Bryant and the Lakers. 
but he has LeBron as his uh duo partner now. Let's see how well. But actually, we're gonna simcast. I want to see how well, how well these two can play against each other. Come on, okay. LeBron and Shaq holding it down against Kobe and Paul Gasol. LeBron up doing his thing, 39 points, 8 to 10. Shaq, 10 and 10. Come on now, we need more than that. Kobe and Oklahoma for 33, and Paul Gasol had 14 and 19. Come on, Shaq, we need more. Paul Gasol good, but like, come on, Shaq, you got to use that weight. Well, we are blowing them out. Le the duo LeBron and Shaq is going crazy against the 2009-2010 Lakers. Uh, LeBron up having 24, 18, and 12 with five steals, but the turnovers are killing us. Shaq ended up having a better game, 21 and 12 against Kobe Bryant. Okay, we toned him down a little bit. Kobe ended up going 9 for 24, Packers are 5 for 13. That's what we like to see. Make sure y'all subscribe to the channel, by the way. Now, Lakers got home court advantage. Like, we can stop him. We stopping him for a little bit. Yeah, we're we going to win this game. End up blowing him out. LeBron having 35, 34, 5, and 12, and 4 steals. Two blocks. Turn down the turnovers. That's good. Shaq ended up having 17 and 15. That's what we like to see. Kobe Bryant have 31, 31 and 13. Make, made him pass the ball. Parker Sardin having 21 and 8. In the game four to win it all. I'm pretty sure this duo of LeBron and Shaq is going crazy. They're going to go crazy in the game four. Especially Shaq. He got something to prove. Come on, Shaq. Yeah, we blowing them out. We won. Yeah, we won this thing. Yeah, we won that thing for sure. So, the duo of LeBron and Prime Shaq, look, uh, unstoppable force. Like, they can win champions, like championships, like multiple. Uh, Let's see what. Oh, look. I was right. Shaq did want to prove himself in the game four. He ended up having 28 and 7, and up leading the team to scoring. LeBron had 25, 10, 16, and 8, and two blocks. Oh, my. Okay. But Kobe Bryant have 36 and Paul Gasol 20 to 18. Okay. And he had Marcus Hall. Okay. I guess. But this team of, this duo of LeBron and Shaq, and Prime Shaq is crazy. LeBron during the playoffs had 31 points, 10 rebounds, 13 assists, 5 steals, 2 blocks and shot. 63% from the field on 72% from the 3. Boy, this LeBron way crazy. What Shaq had during the playoffs? Shaq had, his numbers did go down, but he had 22 points, 14 rebounds. That's still good. But his percent went down by a lot, obviously. But anyway, this duo of LeBron and Prime Shaq go crazy. I think this duo even go crazier than Kobe and Shaq itself. Like, tell me in the comments. Make sure, anyway, this is the end of the video. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, and share the video. We had 153 subscribers. Subscribe to this channel, guys. Please, I'm asking. I'm not begging, but I'm asking, please. Make sure y'all follow me on my social medias, Instagram, like, underscore, t-loading, t-talking, Twitter, uh, t-loading, underscore, and I'm out. Peace. Enjoy y'all day.